tell me a story about yourself that sounds like a lie but is absolutely true. We named our entire university after a slippery rock, said by Slippery Rock University. <laughs> Can you just imagine being the founder of this university, walking along a nice creek at 6am in the morning, the birds chirping, the sun shining, and then you come across a slippery rock. You slip on that rock and you go, ah, you know what, I'm going to name my university after that. Boom, and there was founded Slippery Rock University. Thank you, what a mad lad. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to Mad Lads, where we're gonna look at just some insane dudes, like people who are out of their mind, like people that do something that nobody else would even dare to think of doing, like slipping on a rock and naming your university after it. Like, that's pretty savage stuff, right? Oh no, I just said savage. No, okay, we're not we're not going that far. <laughs> it's 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 mad lads. It's mad lads. We're gonna stick with that, okay? <laughs> The Outsider premieres on HBO three nights from now. It's excellent. Ah, thanks. I will stream it illegally, Stephen. <laughs> oh, the FBI is going to be on this guy. Like, you blurred their name, but the FBI can unblur that name. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Some mad lad paid YouTube to rickroll people who watch the ads. <laughs> Dope tech of CES 2020. Sony made a car, you click on the video thinking, oh, this is going to be a good video, and you get rickrolled. <laughs> you know what would be even better? If you clicked on Rick Astley's video, and you got an ad to Rick Astley's video. <laughs> it's like Rickroll Inception. You get rickrolled by wanting to get rickrolled. Oh, it would be perfect. <laughs> Guys, I made an armband so we don't shoot each other during World War Three. Reddit memes. I will collect these from slain redditors like trophies. <laughs> oh, you already know some mad lads going around and purposely killing every single redditor they see, no matter what team they're on. Oh, you're fighting on my side? Eh, you have one of those armbands, you're dying. <laughs> and I mean, the last army that used red armbands, they didn't go down too well in history, so maybe not the best idea. <laughs> I have curly red hair and I'm wearing a dress with dinosaurs all over it. And I just got catcalled in the street by a guy who yelled, Hey baby, you can ride my magic school bus. And I laughed too hard to remember to be mad about it. <laughs> okay, that's pretty smooth. Like catcalling people randomly is kind of creepy in my opinion. But if you say something like that, it's a big win. <laughs> And if this guy takes it any further and goes on a date with the frizz, it's not gonna be normal. <laughs> with the frizz? No way! This Josh kid I knew had to take a hit, asked if he could go to the bathroom, and the teacher wouldn't allow him a hall pass in high school, which is the dumbest thing ever invented anyway. So he got up, walked to the front of the room, and sh his pants in front of the class, then blamed the teacher for it. The kid? Ha. The teacher? Ha. <laughs> if that actually happened, that is probably the ballsiest move you can ever do. Like, everyone's just gonna be calling you the kid who sh his pants at the front, but you did it for the best reason ever. But in all seriousness, -ness, right? Is that a word? But in all seriousness? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but in all seriousness, why do you not get to go to the toilet whenever you want? I just need to go to the toilet. Let me. <laughs> Cops arrest 99-year-old woman to cross it off her bucket list. Aw, oh, that's so sweet of them to do. But what they didn't tell you is she wanted it to be really authentic, so she slaughtered a bunch of people so she could get in prison for real. This woman is a mad lad. <laughs> In elementary school, a deaf girl stole my ice cream and I signed to her to give it back and she closed her eyes. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed so hard at this. <laughs> I do not see it. <laughs> That's a really funny scenario, isn't it guys? Like, oh, the deaf person stole my ice cream and then I say, oh, give it back. That's my ice cream. I paid for that. She closes her eyes. Oh, can't see anything. Can't hear anything. Haha, -ha, I get your ice cream. But no, I paid for that ice cream. I'm going to get that ice cream. I don't care if we have to fight for it and you can't see me or hear me. You're getting beat up. I want my ice cream back. <laughs> hmm, what is rare but not valuable? Being born without limbs. High five. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
I wonder if I've got any subscribers with no limbs. Hmm. If you've got no limbs, just click like right now so I know you're out there, alright? Um, why is there a tomato on the train? Tomato on a train? Fuck off, I paid for my ticket. <laughs> You know, usually when I use Subway, I never ask for tomatoes, but I guess this person did. That was an awful joke, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <sighs> I called the cops on my own party last night because I was ready to go to bed. <laughs> this this hits me right in the feels, yep. Just, just being like, can you come over and stop this party? I just want to sleep, man. It's 2am, I'm not ready for this. Just, just come over, please. <laughs> the person on the other line's like, Yep, I feel you, bro. Send in dispatch out right now. Good night. <laughs> My uncle just sent a message in the family group asking for money. I privately messaged him asking for banking details so I can deposit it. He responded saying he doesn't actually need money. He asked for money so that nobody in the family would ask him for money. <laughs> Okay, that's a good idea, actually. I might have to do this. Just be like, ah, I'm kind of low on funds a bit. Do you mind sending me a bit of cash? That way, anytime anyone thinks, oh, I need some money, they're not going to come to me because I'm low on money. <laughs> what was the dumbest thing you thought as a child? My grandpa told me that I could grow rocks. He took me outside and grabbed a rock with me. Then we put it in a jar of water. I watched it for a while, waiting for it to grow, but it never did. So, I took a nap, and when I woke up, the rock was a lot bigger. I was so excited and confused. Then, I went and ate dinner with my grandma, and when we got back to their house, there was a bunch of pebbles along with my rock. The bastard had babies! Turns out, rocks can't really grow, and my grandpa was just messing with me. Oh well. <laughs> That is a mad lad grandpa right there. But can you actually imagine if rocks grew with water? SpongeBob would not be having a good time down there, just, you know, suffocating under rocks. <laughs> Parrot, trapped on roof, keeps telling fire crew to f off. <laughs> I mean, that is the highest level of mad lad you could be. You know, you're a parrot who can speak to humans, and you can probably fly down whenever you want, but instead you get the fire brigade called out, and you tell them to f*** off. <laughs> With 7.7 .7 billion people living on Earth, what do you think no one is doing right now? Uh, dating you? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Wait, can you guys think of another thing 7.7 .7 billion people aren't doing right now? S subscribing to me? M maybe? No one's doing that. Unless you are. Wow, oh, you look, you did it. Wow, you're one in a, a billion. 7.7 .7 billion to be exact. If you rob a store naked as a minor, no one can watch the security footage without committing a crime. <laughs> that, that's a good idea, actually. How do people get convicted of that though? Because surely you could just say, oh, this person was watching this, look, and then you've technically watched that, so you should get arrested as well. And then the court watches it and they all get arrested and then everyone just keeps getting arrested. Everyone would be in prison if this was a thing. Ah, oh, how does it work? Women have to deal with cramps, but what do men have to deal with? Uh, women. <laughs> Well, you can always be gay. J just saying, if you're gay, then you don't have to deal with women. And if you don't want to be gay, then just say no homo, and it's not gay. So, you win either way. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't follow me, guys. I don't want followers. Uh, one follower. <laughs> I kind of want to know who that one follower is. The ultimate mad lad, maybe? Uh, maybe it's reverse psychology. Maybe she wants followers. That's why she's saying it. Uh... Don't subscribe, guys. Don't subscribe. That would be very not cool of you. Nah, no, that doesn't work. Please, please subscribe. <laughs> if you're ever doubting yourself about your growth on social media, just remember a green M&M with Dr. Phil's face and XXX Tintashion hair has 50,000 followers from tweeting about himself in third person all day. Anything is possible. <laughs> Nick, love that guy. <laughs> Is that where I've been going wrong? I need to tweet about myself in third person to get more followers and probably change my AVI to that? All right, I'm heading over to Twitter right now. Let's go. 
That was pretty mad, right? Like, like a 9, maybe a 10 out of 10? What would you rate it? I don't know, maybe you should click another video and rate that one as well. Like, they're on screen right now. You could just do it with, with no effort whatsoever. And also subscribe, make sure you do that.